Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back in Lumber Tycoon 2. Thank you for joining me this evening. And before we get started, I have a little bit of announcement to make. So let's just uh, pop this over here one second. Oh, oh wait, 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 where is it? Where is it? So um, I updated my about screen. Let's just fade this over here. What is that? What is, what is this? Oh, it's green screen failure. It's green screen failure. That's what that was. Green screen failure. You may have noticed that I've updated the about page over here. All this nifty little information where you can get like rookie axes and all kinds of good stuff. But there's a specific one that I want you to kind of look at right there. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Boom. Look at that. Look, look, look. Fan mail. So I had to go and get a P.O. box to send out the axes and stuff like that. So I am actually revealing to you my location. Yes, I'm actually giving away the state that I'm living in. And yes, I'm in, this, in the United States. Before you go commenting, oh my gosh, you live in the same state, city, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that, okay? That gives away your location. Don't do that. Don't give away your location. And if you want to shoot me a, like a DM or something over on Discord, then yes, absolutely. But don't give away your locations. Um... For me, my P.O. box is not my address, okay? It's it's like in there, then it's different. So if you guys want to, you can send fan mail. Um, this is the address that I'm going to be shipping out the axes from. By the way, I have not shipped out the axes yet because I had to get a P.O. box and some other things. Anyhow, they are coming. They're on the way. I, I promise. They, they will be out soon. I will ship them. Um, I'm probably going to do them in two different batches. The first batch is going to be like the United States batch, and those are going to be signed. And then the second batch is going to be like all the ones outside the United States, because those are going to be expensive. Anyhow, um, I did not anticipate the uh, the cost and everything else that was going to go into these things, but they're pretty cool. And also, there's a link to the rookies if you want to go and purchase one yourself, or if you weren't a winner, there's something like that. Check them out. All good things. Um, by the way, Defaultio gets zero profit. I get zero profit. Those are not profit makers. Those are literally to get you guys uh, a toy axe. Uh, no, a rookie axe. It's a real rookie. Totally, totally real for um, yourself. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get started. Um, I have been working on the door bridge while you guys, or while we were on break. Well, I guess you'd call it a break. Anyhow, I've got two of the three done. Yeah! Look at that. The um, third one is in progress. I still have enough doors. I think I've got enough to actually um, finish it out without grabbing any more doors. I hope. But, oh, this is kind of rough. It won't be as rough once we have uh, the third set on there because we'll be able to drive in the middle like this. Like that. Anyhow, we can actually drive across now with like no problems. I don't have to do any kind of balancing act or anything. Also, the um, Spookwood is still out. Uh, this server has been up for about an hour, so let's go. Let's go look for some. Ooh, let's go look for some Spookwood. First things first. Let's head over to the um, the swamp area. That's where I'm heading. Thank you everyone for all your comments. I know I don't respond to all of them, but I do read them, and I'm trying to keep all the uh, the other ones out. Oh gosh. Where's all the fog? The fog's gone. Oh, maybe it's because it's like the middle of the day and stuff. <laughs> you can see the towers up in the background. Um, looking, 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 looking for Spookwood. Spookwood, run! I don't see any. They'll stand out. Like, uh, once you see them, they're just these dark, dark trees. Um, hmm. Nowhere. Nowhere to be found! We searched the savannah for days. No sign of the spookwood. It had mysteriously disappeared and vanished from all servers. I'm just kidding. I don't know where it's at. Um, these are hot spots, by the way. Well, at least they were last year. Uh, I will also try over by the snow biome. And hopefully find something. Anyhow, uh, for those of you that are still asking, hey, why are you playing in a private server? It's because of the lag. And I think I have a way of getting rid of the lag, but it involves me building storage houses for all the 
loose items, all the loose presents on my base. I think one of the main reasons, because I've only got a data size 7, so it's really not that big of a base. Um, it's just all the items on that base. Man. No spookwood. But look at this. I can drive to Goldwood. <gasps> That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. By the way, I think I might let Sam borrow the, uh, the bridge to come over here and grab some, uh, some zombie wood to finish out his house because he took a break and he has not been building on his, uh, his tree house. So we, we need to do that. Well, let's just take a look here before it gets too dark, too foggy. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Hmm. And I have yet to see one grow myself. I'm beginning to think it's a myth. I mean, I see people taking pictures of it and stuff, but I call Photoshop. They, they've been touched, touched up. Those, those are fakes. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. By the way, I love this soundtrack to the, uh, the mountainous area. It's one of my favorite songs inside Lumber. My number one favorite song is the one in the main biome because it's, no, I take that back. The green box is definitely my um, favorite because that is Swimmy Texture. Swim, Swimmy Textures by Kevin McElroy. Uh, if you, uh, my second favorite is Easy Peasy and that is the soundtrack inside the main biome. Same artist, uh, Kevin McElroy. McElroy or McLeod? McClellan. Is McClellan part of the McClellan clan? Alright, so there's nothing there. Let's drive back across here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's fine. You're doing great. <laughs> Way to pay attention, Code. Good job. Way to fail. <laughs> Alright, let's just push this off. Go on. Keep going. You don't push me, I push you. Blink, here we go. Almost there. Let's try the other side. Go. Go. By the way, uh, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm actually pushing the truck by having the doors push me. Push. Push, 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 push. Almost off. It's gonna land right side up. Watch. It'll, it'll be the best. It's gonna be so awesome. Come on, shut the door. Open the door, shut the door, open the door, shut the door, open the door. All right, let's go to the other side. Shut the door and push. Go. <gasps> almost, almost. Please. Just go. Yeah. One more, one more. Go. Yay. Nailed it. <laughs> nice. I gotta go run after my truck. <clears throat> and in we go. There we are. Good. Now we can search the main biome. Just take a look at the backs real quick. Little areas that we couldn't search from up there. That's a cherry tree. I know the cherry tree from a distance kind of looks like it, but it's not. Um, what about that little corner over there? I can't see it. Alright, get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Nope. There's a spot right in there. Back it up. All right, let's drive through the main biome. Easy peasy. I love I love this song. I think I've got it turned up. Hope you guys can hear it. Um, is the desktop audio up? Yeah, we're good. It gives good background music. <clears throat> oops, oops, oops. Did not mean to hit that. Alright, looking up on the mountains, looking on top of things, nothing. Doesn't look like it's anywhere. Hmm. Alright, let's head over this direction. Anything, anything? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. We should at least see like a sapling or something, right? When it takes over like three hours to fully grow seven out ten hours to grow just kidding 
It it really does. It doesn't. It is the slowest growing tree besides glowwood. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, there we go. All right. There's the song that we don't like, and the only reason we don't like it is because it always gets claimed as copyright. But I'm just gonna let it play this time. <laughs> it's, it's rebel. I'm just a rebel. That's what it is. Uh, nothing on top of the rocks. Nothing down below. Oh, come on, spook tree. Okay, that's a pine. Or a fir. It's a fir tree. Oh, that one kind of spiraled up. That looked cool. Hmm. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Nothing. I'm looking on top of the rocks and the mountains and all over the place. If you guys see one while in this video, um, don't just say, hey, I saw it. Put like a timestamp in there. Just let me know like what minute and what second it was on and I'll go look. <sighs> I don't know how I keep missing them. That or I'm not missing them. You guys are just like, oh, there was. See it? <laughs> Where? It was there at the beginning of the video. Where? Where? I don't... Never mind. <laughs> By the way, yes, this is a new area. We don't know what it's for. It's been around since the, like, just after the winter biome, or the winter games. Which was almost a year ago. Anywho. Boom, 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 boom. None. No, never, none. Should we try for the, uh... Should we... Maybe. Hmm. wonder if we should go for the, uh... The boat. Should we go for the boat? I don't know. Don't know. Alright, tell you what. I will try this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do it a safe way. We're, we're gonna go down first. No trees. No trees. Ever. There's like a little ledge right there. Hmm. Hmm. Go this direction. There we go. Should be able to ramp off over here. I think. Yeah, we can go off right there. Okay. Be a little bit safer. Alright, here I go, here I go, here I go. Wish me luck. Oh! Oh, nice. I should be able to go right across all the tops of these. I'm just careening, up, careening across the tops of the mountains. The majestic, glorious code makes his way back home. Yes, the wild code is, can be found in his natural habitat. Lumber taken too. This is where he spends most of his time. Searching and hunting and gathering the various woods of Lumbertack and Deer. Oh, gosh. Zoop. Ooh, that was rough. There was an extra rock added there. Wonder why. <gasps> Just kidding. We know why. It's because of the, uh, the power cave. Lost cave. I guess that's what it's been called, right? Lost cave. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was scary. So scary. Okay. And we're back home. We. Good job, Code. Well, the boat's here, but how long before you leave, sir? Can always do a maze run, of some kind. Oop. Excuse me, Hoover. How long are you going to be here? Uh, when is your next run? Seven minutes. No, thank you. I'd, ra I'd rather go build on a bridge. Go build a gold bridge. The gold bridge. Gold bridge. Gold bridge, gold bridge, gold bridge, gold bridge. Doom, 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 doom. All right. <laughs> Swing around like that. Good. 
By the way, um, yes, I am still programming on my my new game. Um, I still don't have a name for it of any kind, but um, you guys may have noticed there's like a sword in there now, and the perspective thing I've kind of fixed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the way that actually works. Oh wait, I've still got a ton of doors over there. Hmm. Shall we? We shall. Alright, let's grab this one. I don't need any more ladders. I don't think. You good on ladders? Yeah, I'm good. Rotate. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and build some more. Why not? We like ladders. Ladders are fun. One. Two. Three. Four. Shouldn't need more than five, right? B. Alright, get in there. Come here, you. There we go. I'm about out of single units. No. Don't run out of single units. No. Oh, I, I ran out of single units. No. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go chop up a single unit. Chop, chop. Hiya. There we are. There's a lovely tree this time of season. <laughs> Hey, little buddy. Seems that this one's just right. Notice the five points at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind, there was seven. Probably should put this one back. It only has the seven, not the five. I'm just kidding. Drop. Drop it like it's hot. Nope. <laughs> Sounds like a Minecraft villager. Oh, it's really dark. I don't like the video when it's dark. I can't see anything. By the way, um, if you guys didn't know, I'm doing Trolliverse, which is a creative series. So you should probably go check that out as well, because I show you how to use night vision. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. You should definitely check it out. All right, let's watch this. See if the glitches are fixed. Oh, oh, oh I'm stuck under that. It was oh, only three. Really? Where'd he go? Dude, not cool. Only need the one tree. Oops, oops, ah, come here. I got the power. So for those of you that are like, oh my gosh, this building with like one unit, it's the, the power. That's what it is. The power of awesome. Um, by the way, that video is up as well. It's been up for a second. Lots of people are getting the power. I think, and don't get me wrong, it's it's nice having the power and being able to build and just go, but like one of the challenges was all these awesome bases that were built and they didn't have the power. And it, you understood like how much time went into building one of those like pixel art towers or fan art tower things, just amazing stuff. And okay, well that would didn't work. <laughs> so there's there's a little bit that was lost. I'm I still wouldn't change it. I love that we have the power. Alright, stop right there, dude. And jump. There you go. Now we can move these doors. Come here, you. I'm gonna move these wedges while I'm up here. Actually, let's just shoot for up there. Good. Move this one. Shoot that one. Oh wait, I gotta look down first. Shoot that one way up there to the top. Good. And move jump. 
Come on, get up there. Good. Let's go ahead and take these down. They seem to be getting in the way. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to use them for the tower, but... Or for the bridge. But I will be able to use, like... I want to go and make a ramp that goes all the way up there. And it's open on my base. So, like, if somebody wanted to, I could lower the bridge whenever I first get in, and they could literally drive on the base to go to Goldwood if they wanted to. I think that'd be cool. I like how that's alternating patterns. Kind of makes it feel like, ooh, dangerous. Don't go near the saw. Oh, come cool. on, right there. And that's not gonna work, that's gonna be one off, isn't it? Wait, does it fit? Ah, <gasps> yay! Good deal, nice. So now we just have a random ladder there. Oh, I got more doors. More doors are over here! Jump, oh, 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 come here, jump. Oh no, that didn't work either. Just, just get up there, please. There we go. <laughs> I got doors all over the base. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. All right. Um, you might have noticed that they like cluster up there, and it's kind of hard to see them from here. That's okay because I've uh, I found ways to like jump around on the doors themselves and gather them up. So whenever I run out of them, I just jump to one of the little clusters and then start pulling them off. So thank you to everyone who helped donate for the doors. It's awesome. I, l I like the doors. The doors are awesome. Not the band. The doors in here. Well, I like the doors of the band too. But wasn't really my generation or my style of music. Uh, for those of you that were asking, techno. I like techno. Um, kind of like dance music too. Like dance music, not like folk dance music. Although there's nothing wrong with folk music. I mean, folk music is fine too. Don't want to insult anybody. I listen to all ranges of music. Anything from classical to talk radio, news, country, rap. <laughs> I think mashups. Mashups are like my favorite style, though. Because mashups, okay, fine. Mashups are, they tend to be songs that don't sound like they would go together, and they just turn out to be amazing songs. I, I love mashups. Oh, um, to those of you that were asking the question, how do I stay interested in Lumber Tycoon 2. <clears throat> First off, coffee. And the reason I say that is because what does coffee do? I've explained it before in the past where my ADHD starts kicking in and the, the coffee actually helps to calm me down. It actually, it doesn't make me hyper. It helps me to concentrate. Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing happens inside Lumber Tycoon 2. Basically, I have a really long day at work, or I have um, I have kids, I have a wife, I have full-time job life in general. And coming inside Lumber Tycoon 2 gives me that escape, that, that non-reality. But it's not the fast-paced version of, say, like Phantom Forces, or an obby of some kind. There's still excitement, but it's not overwhelming. In here, I can come in here to go on adventures or I can go and just build. And either way, I know I'm going to have a good time. That's why I love Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, the other thing it does is it gives me something to do while I talk. None of my videos, like most of my videos, I don't really know what I'm going to do until I start doing it. Like, for example, tonight, I didn't really know I was going to release the uh, P.O. box or go hunt for Spookwood or... Like, the main thing was I was going to come in here and build. 
So what happens is <clears throat> my mind starts in on the first subject that happens and I start talking from there. As I'm talking, I'm still moving around and playing in game, which um, allows that like creative part of me to stop and do something while the logical part or the like conversational part actually keeps talking. I hope that makes sense. Um, I know I know some of you will get that. Uh, others will kind of be lost in what I'm saying. Um, okay, a fidget spinner. I know that's a like an old example, but a fidget spinner is a great example of what Lumber Tycoon 2 kind of does for me. It takes that wanting to build, wanting to be creative portion and kind of puts it off to the side so I can talk. Um, if you've ever played with me and we've not been on camera or we've not been talking, you'll know what I mean. Because I get very quiet. <laughs> what? Code's quiet? Yeah. No, really. Um, there's That'll be just long pauses and long moments where I'm not saying anything. And I'm still thinking stuff inside my head. And it's, you know, contemplating the vastness of interstellar space and stuff. But it's all locked in my head. So by getting in front of a microphone, getting in front of a camera, it actually gives me that outlet to express the stuff inside my head. Um, I've gotten much better at it over the years or over the yeah years because I mean, I had a bit of a channel before I got started. I think I started Roblox at a thousand subscribers. Um, before then I was doing bots and I was doing tutorials and hypnosis. So yeah, over the years, is that all the stray doors? I think that's all the stray doors. How, how far along are we? We're at 27 minutes. Okay, I got a little bit of build time. Little bit of build time. We can do this. So, just an explanation of why I love Lumber so much. And I really do. I love this game. Hold on. Did that? That's not opening. Okay, I need to rotate like that. Open like that. So, okay. Just so you know, this is the pillar I'm going to be working on and I'm gonna go all the way to the top. So to do what I do to get them to attach correctly, I spin the door to the position it's going to be in once it's up there, and then I open it. By opening it, it's going to automatically open once it gets up there. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and move. And Oh, by the way, it's seven units. So the, the whole door length is eight units long. So if you can't really see it from right here or you don't, you're not really sure, you can always bring it all the way down like this. So it's even, so you can bring it down like, okay. Okay, we're not gonna be able to bring it all the way down because of that. So we're gonna start one unit up. Okay, so that, no, that, that. That is one unit. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units. Boom. And it landed perfect. Now I should be able to do this with the next door. Move. Just line it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. Or you can go one down from the top. Open the door. There we are. Yeah, coming, coming from the top, it's just one down, like that. <laughs> By the way, I was sitting there kind of worried. I was like, ooh, I hope it works. Hope, hope that makes it. It did. It worked out perfect. Move. The other little clusters of doors kind of gets in the way sometimes. Oh, that's too far away. I couldn't see it. All right. Here we are. Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sweet. Sweet. Glorious. Glorious the day. Is this one open? Nope. Open the door. Done. And yes, you do have to reclose all the doors. So you're going to have to make sure that you're good at door jumping. 
or find a friend that's really good at door jumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, you don't know where door jumping is. That is the ability to jump up and scale a door bridge like this um, from just the handles. Door jumping. A new sport coming to town. Hopefully in the Olympics in 2018. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, seven. There we go. We're about up to the next level, aren't we? We're in the first platform? Oh, we are. Oh, that's going to take forever. Okay. I think I'm done for now. Got a little bit of doors done. Did a little bit of Spookwood run. Looking. Haven't really gotten Spookwood yet. Still on the look. But that's okay. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Thaskins Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. No pressure to actually do so. It is completely your choice, and that's just a call out that I have to do at the end of the video. Okay, I don't really have to do do the call out either. If you'd like one of those t-shirts with my awesome face on it and the, the logos, or if you'd like a mouse pad or a coffee cup, check out the Hello Juniper link down below. Also, if you'd like to purchase one of the Rookie Axe toys, um, that is in the Sturdy Guns link in the description down below. If you'd like to send out fan mail, I now have... Man, there is so much stuff to call out at the end of the videos. That's just crazy. If you'd like to send fan mail, I now have a P.O. box, and yes, it, you can send fan mail to it. I love artwork if you draw pictures and stuff like that, so that's that's pretty cool as well. I will try and respond to all fan mail. If you send packages, okay, I, I will do a fan mail opening as well. <laughs> love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.